I'm here with Hamilton Spectator columnist Steve Milton. And Steve, East Division semifinal on Sunday. What do the Ticats have to do to win this game? Well, first thing, contain Anthony Cavill. Uh, that's the number one thing. And, and the byproduct of that, of course, is the, is the uh, two big receivers, uh, Green and, and uh, Richardson, controlling them and, and uh, really shadowing them tight. And the third thing is is, is stop Brandon Whitaker. I, I think they're okay against the defense. There's a couple of things that you've got to do there. You've got to you got to put a lot more pressure on Chip Cox and make him you know up and down the field. He's he's the key to that defense as well as uh, John Bowman, uh, and and take care of John Bowman. Um, offensively, Kevin Glenn will get the start for the Thai Cats. Turnovers have been an issue for him, uh, particularly in the playoffs. Mm-hmm. What does he have to do to to be successful? Well, inherent in the in the question is the answer, of course, and and and, and that is control of turnovers. That's been the entire thing, and we've talked about this before. One of the reasons the coaching staff like so much, so much more than the uh, the layman, including you and I, uh, about Quentin Porter's performance during the, the four games uh, that he had a shot in there. Uh, was that he never threw an interception until basically the, you know, the second or third last series that he that he played that he and he did not fumble. Two things that 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 not only he had to work on personally, but the team needs, uh, and put 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 the uh, ball into the end zone. That's the other issue is not just the turnovers for Kevin is is the uh, is get that ball into the end zone. Yes, they've got a fairly automatic three, but boy, that you know. Let's not take the pressure off five and put it on number seven, you know, all the time. So, so I, they've got to get into the end zone. I know you don't like to make predictions, but uh, can the Thai Cats win this football game? Yeah, I mean, certainly. I mean, uh, I, I think you and I have spent the week, sort of, beca- after weeks of mostly negative coverage, uh, because you can't figure out who this team is. We've spent the week showing ways in which that can happen, because most people assume that it cannot. The stuff we've just talked about it, it, it is certainly part of it. Coming and showing up on the opening series on either side of the ball is, is huge for them because I, I I I don't think they've done that remotely enough this year. Maybe half a dozen times in the 18 games they played were they ready on both sides of the ball from the opening series, and that to me is is imperative because you've got to you're going to have to withstand a very loud no matter how many people are there even if it's as few as 35,000. Boy, that sounds like a lot to be to, to use the word a few for, but but they can make tw- it's a two for one in in, in the big O. One person makes the same noise as two people would in another stadium. That's how much it amplifies. So you've got to be able, you've got to show up to play because if you don't, it's going to be seven nothing on the first play. Make sure to check out uh, Saturday's Spectator Full Game Preview. I'll have a story in there, and Steve will have a bunch of stuff as well. And make sure you check out the Scratching Post blog all weekend long for up to the minute coverage from Montreal. For the Hamilton Spectator, I'm Drew Edwards with Steve Milton.